as well. Here's tropical depression 22. Yes, it is still a tropical depression. We're waiting for it to get that tropical storm status winds at 35 miles per hour as of 10 AM. This will likely become a tropical storm later today. We're just probably waiting for the hurricane hunters to get out there and investigate it. Notice though, here's your center. There's not a whole lot going on on the west side, a lot going on the northeast side, and that's what's causing our clouds and rain here in South Louisiana, and that's all because of a big old trough that's sitting over Texas that is pushing on this thing and pushing all the clouds this direction along with the moisture that's going to stay there through today and early tomorrow. That trough will be moving out though, and as it does so, this thing is going to start to lose that northeast movement that it has today. So there it is becoming a tropical storm moves to the north, kind of northeast as we go into Saturday morning, then starts to make that hard left or hard west turn as we go into Saturday and Sunday, and that's because that trough moves out. A ridge of high pressure moves in and nothing's really steering this very slowly creeps in this direction. Now this part of the forecast is still very uncertain because it's going to be moving so slow, but the general thinking is it moves towards Texas, really slows down, maybe even becomes a hurricane, and then look at this. They have it moving back to the uh, north and then maybe the northeast as we go into Wednesday and Thursday just off the Texas coast. Now with all that being said, uh, there's still a lot of uncertainty with this forecast. It's a very tricky forecast and uh, just going to have to watch it. Now one thing uh, Texas really going to have to watch is how close this wants to get because if it gets close enough, you're going to see some pretty high rain totals because it's moving so slow here back home, though, it looks like our highest rain totals from this over the next about five to seven days will be along the coastal areas, maybe six plus inches, but more so as you get into the metro two to four inches, one to two inches. So overall, our impact still appear to be fairly minimal over the next five days or so as it stays to our east. Now what it does beyond that five days, six, seven days, it's possible it tries to get a bit further north into east, but it's still too far out to really speculate exactly what it's going to do. Our steering currents though do show this forecast happening. You see the ridge building in as we go into Sunday that will have winds going towards the west, so that would naturally kind of drift this this way. Not a very strong ridge though, so we don't expect this to race into Texas. Now that ridge will start to lift away. It will be moving very slow at this point. Point, and we're just going to have to wait for that next trough to come down. And you can see it there, the blues that will start to turn it more towards the north and east. And this is by Wednesday and Thursday, so about five to six days out. So a long time to track this thing. We do need to track it here in southeast Louisiana, but right now it looks like uh, we could see some showers, breezy winds and plenty of clouds going through the weekend. Let's cover the other things now because we've got Hurricane Teddy, a major category four storm. It's heading towards Bermuda should weaken some, but going to be close for them. There's some cooler waters up here, but they certainly are going to be watching that. And then that's going to head up to portions of Nova Scotia. Um, you can see there up towards Canada as we go into Wednesday. We've also got newly formed tropical storm Wilford. This is southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands heading northwest. It is expected to kind of maintain its strength, not strengthen too much, and they have it weakening in the next five days. Long ways out. We can track that one and then alpha. This is alpha, our first Greek storm. It is right off the Portugal coast. Uh, it's very rare to see this, by the way, heading up through Spain. Of course, that's not going to be an issue for the United States, but it just goes to show you that things are crazy active. So if our Gulf system develops before another one does, it would be beta. But We've seen how that's gone today. So for now, we'll say maybe it'll be beta, but our wind, our rain, uh, our weekend forecast, some rain, some sh uh, some wind. We'll have temperatures nice and cool in the lower 80s this weekend. Next week, uh, kind of continuing that Monday and Tuesday, first day of fall It's going to feel like fall. And then Thursday and Friday of next week really depends on what the uh, tropical depression 22 does. And for now, we just got to keep a close eye on it.